This video was brought to you by Stoinberg, Abed Ruhr Planner, Mr. Green, Camp Power, and Marcus Beal. We are now in Deutschland on the A7 heading north towards Flensburg and I just did a silent run first and now we are starting talking. So I um, just want to see what happens when we drive the oh, Model Y almost well actually more or less to the max of what it's capable of. Uh, we have the VMAX is around 220 kilometers per hour and see we try to cruise at 200 ish I mean, it's kind of busy. It's uh, 7.30 in the morning now on a Saturday. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's busy, this stretch. But I want to see how hot the battery gets. And you can see it, it's, uh, the cell temp is now 44 degrees Celsius. So it's heating up. I just wonder how good the cooling in the Model Y is compared to the Model 3. Because Model Y is capable of towing 1,600 kilograms. So it should, in theory, have better cooling right maybe it doesn't overheat as much as model 3 well i guess we'll see there's only one way to find out 
and this is also my last chance to hammer the Model Y before we reach the Danish border. So uh, yeah, let's just do, let's go for it. Final stretch before I have to go back to uh, um, countries with speed limits. Oh, but it has been wonderful to travel through uh, Europe, but also hammer through uh, Germany as always. So yes, say good, yeah. Okay, let's, let's floor it. Ah, yeah, it's flat out now. See, it flattens out at 220 kilometers per hour. Now, however, I would wish that uh, Tesla would implement stronger region because most cars nowadays, this kind of caliber, they have stronger region. Oh, that guy wants to go for it. It's Jaguar. Uh, you see that if I let off now, the maximum region is around, well, right now it's 70 kilowatt. It's usually around 75 to 85 kilowatt only, whereas many of the German brands, they can offer 150 to 200-ish kilowatt region. So that would be useful for high-speed runs like this, or actually just for, for daily driving, that you can, you can region more and you, you use less of the friction brakes. Because the car should be able to take a lot more uh, uh, charging power. Okay, let's see now. Okay, thank you, John. Jaguar, what is that? XF1, well, bye bye. So, uh, yeah, try, trying to be, wait. I'm trying to be a good German here. Uh, sometimes when I tap on the, on the, turn signal it doesn't always react for some reason I don't know what's up with uh, this stock but of course I intend to uh, oh what's that what's that I intend to change I mean to uh, use turn signals man this this road here is just wonderful also the the the, the road via um, Hanover yeah from uh, when you go from um, München to Hanover, uh, you know, we are via uh, Ingolstadt, that road, and then, uh, yeah, the, the A7 also has almost no Stau and also very little uh, Baustelle, so it's perfect for high speed runs at night, especially if you want to just go fast without. I'm not saying just hammer it, you know, I'm just saying. Just to get from A to B, that stretch is just wunderbar. So, um, oh, now we come to the stretch with the new asphalt. Now, the reason why I want to record it here is because the asphalt over here is quite nice and smooth. Oh, oh, oh. But man, I have to talk also about the Model Y. This is just a long range Model Y, but it has so good pull. It, it's so fast even if it's not the performance. So you can have a lot of fun on the Autobahn or, or not fun, or, or just it becomes, I mean, it's so nimble around here when you just want to uh, pick up speed or yeah, like now, you know, 100, yeah, you should be doing 160 and then boom. We're doing 200 kilometers per hour. Yeah, why not? Why not? So it, it, <laughs> I almost feel like even this one, which is not even the performance, can outperform uh, or match the performance of, uh, of fossil cars. Very impressive. Well, how is the temperature? Huh? 46 degrees. Well, I haven't paid attention to the temperature. It seems to stay at nice temperatures. Uh, I don't think I have any power limit. No. Well, the power limit is reported as 306 kilowatt in the screen, but it's actually higher than that, but it also depends on speed. So if I floor it, you see that we are pulling only 270 kilowatts right now. But that's still plenty. It seems like we have no power limit uh, issues yet. So let's see, uh, do we have enough juice? Yeah, plenty of juice. Because I'm, I'm only doing a short stint just to show this. But of course, uh, whoa, consumption is 460 watt hour per kilometer. <laughs> yeah, that's also, this is the first time I actually do a proper high speed run and actually see the, the consumption. Whoa, 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 guys, what are you guys doing? Uh, that must be a Dane or a Norwegian in the left lane. 
yeah so uh, what are we supposed to do right when this stuff happens Hopefully the guy moves. Oh, it, it gets drier now. <laughs> oh, we have a little bit of tailwind. Well, that, that helps, I guess. Well, it would be great if you guys can just move out of the way, please. Okay. Oh, region, 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 region. Well, I have to say the traffic is not that bad. So uh, it's 7.30 in the... Well, it's, it's 8 in the morning right now, Saturday morning. So I guess it's not... The, oh, that's some massive tailgating from that uh, Volkswagen. I, didn't want, I don't want to go that close, buddy. Just stay uh, behind here. Just wait for them to clear out and then we can go for it. But you see, this is also usually the problem. If Unless you're driving at night. I was hammering through Deutschland last night and it was so, so awesome. It was not... Oh, okay, 120 zone coming. All right. Um, region, region, region. You see, this is what I mean. Uh, I wish that we had a stronger region than this. So now we just have to yeah go go with the local, just uh, follow the locals. Well, they they hammer it, of course. Yeah. So, um, but you see, in the daytime, also many places they have uh, 130 kilometers per hour between uh, six and 20, maybe, and then only in the evening you have unrestricted zones there. But oh, slow down more. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, let's get behind this one. I wonder if it's co we're coming to the bridge now. Oh, yeah, let's uh, take it over here. Okay, or they could just be ah, okay, maybe some Baustelle. That's why they are slowing down. Yeah, yeah, we're not at the bridge yet. I forgot. Uh, so. This is usually the reality when you drive through Deutschland is that uh, you hammer it for a bit and then Baustelle and then you hammer some more and then more Baustelle and then if there's the wrong time, wrong day then you have Stau also because of Baustelle or because of Unfall so you can't really go too fast, too long most stretches, I say most stretches but there are places where you can actually hammer it like I mentioned those stretches and maybe also some other stretches but many stretches you are kind of stuck like here so um oh 120. okay but um will we be able to hammer it oh now the trucks can also t use the left lay uh, or can they okay i think yeah, they can, yeah. Okay, I see we're coming to an unrestricted uh, zone again. Well, that's good. Let me just, uh, for the sake of the camera, I will wait. All right, let's go, let's go. Yeah, you see, you see what I mean? It's, it's just, it's just, it still has the power. Well, okay, we had a little cool down uh, run though. Oh, do, 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 do. okay, no, okay. Yeah, this is the problem. Now we only have two lanes and it becomes, the left lane becomes quite clogged and claustrophobic. I prefer having three lanes in each direction. Um, so with two lanes, 
especially now in the morning or like now uh, weekend people are traveling then uh, don't expect any crazy hammering uh, don't expect the left lane to be available as, especially not on a7 towards Flensburg. <laughs> uh, in summertime this stretch here becomes super busy and clogged so well actually well or sometimes it might clear up like now yeah okay but really it was it's such clogged by danes and norwegians and vikings uh, heading north uh, so uh, or actually also germans of course uh, heading north so then this stuff happens then you just have to all the pilot up and then wait what are you supposed to do right let me see oh so the temperature in the pack is <laughs> it's dropping almost get the impression that uh, the, the the model y can cool better than the model 3 huh i wonder if that's the case maybe i should ask uh, tesla i know someone at tesla i can ask them directly ask the source and it's also it's 18 degrees celsius outside so it's not cold uh, so the the difference between the pack temperature and outside is not that great so it actually needs to reject some heat here uh, and do some work to uh, cool down stuff but uh, yeah that, that was the nicest stretch by the way uh, with three lanes in each direction now we come to the two lane stretch and um, yeah well let me just check with the map here that I'm on the right course yeah so we are 38 kilometers away from uh, from the well, no, no, that's uh, from uh, yeah, yeah, Busdorf. Um, I will just stop stop the recording at Busdorf just to give you guys uh, this. Uh, wait, is it Schmutz? Do we have Schmutz on the windscreen? Yeah, could be. And also, yeah, in the daytime, even though even if you could go uh, as fast as you can uh, in the daytime, you will usually be stuck behind traffic like this. <laughs> And it will, well, fortunately, in many places it flows at 120 to 160 kilometers per hour. But there will, of course, be times when it goes even slower or like, uh, yeah. But you know, I always say that I always uh, praised uh, Germans for having good lane discipline. But uh, I take that back because it seems like ger even for Germans and Austrians, good lane discipline disappears during weekends and then maybe it comes back in weekdays <laughs> so um yeah well are you gonna are you gonna camp there um yeah you see this is the problem because uh, we're only only doing 170 kilometers per hour and the, the guy in the renault in front he he thinks that i don't want to go faster so he's just camping there but he should change lane now let me just uh, remind him yeah there you go thank you thank you thank you Sean. he should move over by default that's what i'm saying but he's not doing that so i don't know germans well okay oh the jaguar is caught up well okay Jaguar is behind me now. Yeah, yeah, you see? Full region, 70, 75 kilowatt region. Oh, and here, when you have to brake even faster. Yeah, 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 you see? Now I have to use physical brake. Yeah, I heard some stuff move in the back. That's actually a good indication that the G forces are uh, strong. So, uh, the battery should be, well, okay, maybe at 65%. Uh, yeah, maybe even at 65%, it should be able to take peak power. Just just burst. The, whoa, what the heck is going on here? What? Oh, are we getting close to the bridge? Wait. See, I haven't been here in a while. Yeah, but um, you can... You, you might be thinking, yeah, but at 65%, you can't charge more than 60, 70 kilowatt anyway with this battery. Yes, that's true, uh, but that's for continuous power, input power. But for peak input, uh, you should be able to have uh, maybe, I'm just wild guessing, maybe at least 100 kilowatt region or maybe 150 even, I don't know. And then uh, maybe at the 50% or below, 
then maybe you can even go uh, 200 uh, or 250 kilowatt region. So that would uh, save the brakes, uh, get more energy back, and um, yeah. I mean, it might also introduce more heat to the system, of course. So you can maybe be able to limit uh, the maximum power. Oh, okay, there's a truck in the left lane, that's why. Yeah, a whole bunch. Yeah, you see, this is the problem with only two lanes in each direction. Because once the trucks clog the left lane, then all the other cars, they get stuck behind. And then, of course, the slowest car in front will have to overtake the truck. And then the second slowest car behind will overtake the slowest car and then the third slowest car will overtake the the slowest and the second slowest car and that's why it takes freaking forever for uh, for the left lane to clean up <laughs> so um uh, let me see maybe i should switch over to the map now i just want to take a look now uh, i need i need to get an overview so we are now 29 kilometers away from um, um Bustdorf. I don't have to charge her, you see. I could always, I mean, I could go all the way to the border and beyond, but uh, I just want to stop the recording and maybe go pee over there and uh, grab some food. So you see, this is also again the problem uh, that the, the BMW in front, he doesn't want to move. Okay, there he moved, yes. Okay, good, good, good. So, um, oh, and uh, now we come to a speed. Oh, you see, I have to use physical brakes now because I, I want to slow down faster. Uh, oh, and then the BMW is behind, so I can't just stomp on the brakes. I have to kind of slowly uh, regen and then uh, get in here. But of course, you can just use physical brakes, but then uh, the front rim will uh, look black or, or uh, it will look... Uh, you will get that uh, Onyx black. No, 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 you will get that uh, gray look on the rims because uh, there is so much brake dust. <laughs> you can see who's been hammering at the autobahn, you know, by looking at the rims. Um, let me see where. Oh, okay, okay. Let's just uh, let's just cruise here. Okay. So wow, I haven't driven this stretch in two years. Usually I drive this stretch a lot. Oh, let me just take over manually here. But for for two years now, I haven't taken this stretch. Wait, 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 oh, wait. Just go go with the locals. Just follow the locals. You know, Mr. Officer, Mr. Polizai. Uh, I just didn't know that uh, the speed limit was. Uh, oh, okay, okay, region, region. Yeah, yeah. This is ooh, this is the bridge, right? Yeah, see. Because of COVID, I haven't taken any uh, trips through uh, Europe like I do every year. Some years I even go several times. Okay, just go with the locals, blend in with the traffic. Maybe I should blur out some speeds here. <laughs> but um, yeah, and also I haven't taken this stretch because on the way south, I took the, whoa, whoa, those guys are hammering a bit too uh, fast, so let me uh, get over here. Yeah, I took another route. I took the, um, it was the Rostock, no, it's called again, uh, Getze Rostock uh, route on the way south with a ferry. This time I taken the land route. So, uh, yeah, you, you're wondering why he keep Dun, 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 dun. Well, because I don't have uh, FSD or uh, the enhanced autopilot, so oh, I that will tap on it. Uh, ooh. So that's why I have to disengage and engage autopilot every time. That, that those were speed cameras. Everyone in the mother slows down there. So rule number one: when you travel through a country, go with the locals. If they slow down, you slow down. If they speed up, you speed up. Just. The locals, they know best. But of course, don't tag behind some guy with a foreign uh, license plate in that country. So, for example, in Germany, you can just follow the Germans. Don't follow some Norwegian or some Swiss guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is the bridge I was talking about. It goes kind of slow and then it becomes quite clogged also after the bridge. So, uh, but I'm, um, I guess depending on when, oh, Okay, they're just going for it. But depending on wh which, which day and also when, which time of the day and so on, uh, 
the land route might be faster than the the oh holy macaroni <clears throat> the land route might be faster than the the, the boat route simply because uh, those other stretches in theory according to google or a better route planner they should be faster but um well you see, yeah, you see uh, they, they so now now this is <laughs> this is the a7 as you know it <laughs> towards Flensburg. uh but because of stau and baustelle uh, then those stretches might be quite slow and also it, it also depends on timing because like we experience wifey and me and wifey that we were uh, we had some uh, stuff to do uh, in uh, Copenhagen before we uh, were going to the Getze uh, Rostock ferry so I had to and I didn't know how long it would take so I had to just book a ferry uh, beforehand just to get the spot I guess you can go for some flexible uh, once also but still uh, we didn't want to miss the ferry and uh, that ferry has fewer uh, departures so then we we got to the ferry uh, port and we waited uh, half an hour because yeah we because of the timing so if you take the land route you can at least drive those half an hour rather than just sitting still so it means that then suddenly the land route is faster <laughs> you know so on average it might be about the same until they get the tunnel uh, put garden would be uh, uh, is that a tunnel they're gonna make I think so then that route should be the fastest one but for now I still like the land route here and also it's not uh, too expensive to take the land route but it's just longer route yeah you have to dry more and supercharge more so um, 16 kilometers left for um, Bustorf now <clears throat> I'm not expecting any uh, crazy uh, hammering from here it's just uh, something about this stretch it just gets quite busy uh, <laughs> also because it's weekend in weekday yeah uh, actually 8 in the morning on a weekday should have less traffic from what I uh, remember so um, yeah and again um, we'll see uh, if you guys think, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll figure out if this uh, video gets in production or not because uh, I already tried earlier and uh, when I have the uh, the camera mounted on the wind front windscreen, uh, it was simply too shaky because the surface here is uh, somewhat shaky uh, or I mean rough or uh, not so smooth many places. And also on stretches, many stretches in uh, Germany, they have... Um, uh, not not asphalt but they use concrete and it, it it's uh, quite bumpy because of those sections with concrete and because the suspension in the model y is somewhat harsh then all the bumps and stuff just uh, transfers into the what well, to the car and the, and the camera but uh, i've seen that by mounting it in the back day it, it could be better wait just okay we have cool down now so uh, slow down so the the temperature on the pack has dropped to 40.8 degrees and now we have the same story that uh, this guy won't move uh, <laughs> he's like ah, no, 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 i just want to camp left lane so uh, i don't want to be flush or to to be too flashy so that's what you see uh, and then he's like oh yeah yeah i'm gonna hammer it He's doing, he's doing 170 kilometers per hour, yeah, so why not? Uh, the guys behind, they don't want to go faster. It's a, it's a Tesla behind, of course he doesn't want to go faster. Yeah, so uh, he will just hug the left lane. So you see, you, you need some German auto, fossil, unfortunately. You need some kind of BMW. Yeah, when they see the kidney grill, or the star, or the four zeros, then they might move but seeing a T nine niche move oh, now the van is coming in also yes yeah, coming in hot so uh, 10 kilometers left yeah it's been a while since I did this uh, kind of 
TED Talks. I'm just kidding. Oh, 30 minute run now. Okay, okay. It's been a while since I had this uh, Autobahn runs. So uh, let's see now if we can uh, go any schnell or not. Oh, you see, no, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, good. Well, again, I don't want to do any crazy hammering over here because it's traffic, weekend traffic. You know, you have to be uh, con considerate. Yeah, considerate. It's funny. When I was in the airport, um, they had this uh, announcement they kept repeating. Ah, oh, because of the COVID uh, situation, uh, please remember to, uh, to wear a face, face mask. Uh, be considerate and keep your distance. I was thinking, wait, so because of COVID, you have to be considerate. Oh, wow. Well, I guess once COVID is over, you don't have to be considerate anymore. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's awesome. We just have one last stint before we uh, plug it in. Okay, well, thank you for clearing up the road for me. So let's see now. Um, Maybe I should just hug the left lane because that's what I see. Like I said, technically, as a as a true uh, German, you should use the rightmost lanes as as soon as possible uh, when you can. But I see that Germans, if they go schnell, like 200 kilometers per stunde, they tend to uh, hug the left lane, like I just did. Uh, they don't just they don't just some people do that all the way back Yeah, some people do that but uh, many Germans they t either if they cruise at around 150 160 kilometers per hour They tend to hug the middle lane if there is a middle lane or They hug the leftmost lane when they do 200 220 kilometers per hour So um, Yeah Okay, three kilometers left for the exit. Uh, yeah, you see they move over Ah, let's go. I have an Audi behind me, but uh, I have to check, I have to watch this one now. Yeah, he just kind of disappeared. Final split stint, two kilometers left. Uh, I have to pay attention here because when you are going at these speeds, then two kilometers passes by so fast. So I have to now, oh, okay, we have the stretch with the, with the, yeah, the bumpy. Uh, I remember this one. There were some uh, nasty bumps. Uh, when you're going at uh, 200 kilometers per hour, you feel those bumps. That was the Audi. Okay, so now we will just exit. Go over to uh, Busdorf. Ooh, I haven't been in Busdorf in a long time. So, well, actually, yeah, you see, I, I kind of miscalculated. This, this, um, I could have gone past that truck, but no big deal. So. Just that I haven't been here in a while. And also, from what I remember, this exit is a bit short compared to some of the other exits. Or um, Ausfahrt, that like they call it. There's just so much, so much fart going on in uh, Deutschland. And uh, the city of Ausfahrt is the biggest city in Germany because there are, there are signs pointing towards Aus, Ausfahrt everywhere. <laughs> but there, I, I'm actually getting quite hungry now. So um, I feel like having some uh, breakfast. I just woke up and did this run. So, well, we still have 50% left. What? And the consumption is 331 watt hour per kilometer. We haven't stopped yet, so we have some uh, potential energy we have to release. But you see, I try to go fast. And it was also semi damped on the road, but still, despite that hammering, uh, okay, the average speed was not uh, the most impressive. I can calculate it afterwards. I'm gonna do a quick math, but. Um, uh, right now, 84 kilometers done. Well, let's say 83. We corrected this over report. So 83 kilometers done in 35 minutes. Then you can, uh, I can put the average speed there. But I will also calculate it uh, myself because I need to know. Uh, or what you could do is, well, by the time we stop, it's going to be 36 minutes. And that's uh, 0.6 of an hour. Uh, so 84 divided by points. Yeah, okay. I have to do the math afterwards. Wait. Is it open yet? Oh, let me have one last Brockwurst. Oh, man. Yeah, they sell Brockwurst over here at the Autohof. Autohof Wikingeland, yeah. Oh, it's been two years. It's, oh, man. Helga, I'm home. 
So remember that I'm half German, half Norwegian, half Thai and half Chinese. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, let me see. Maybe uh, let's take uh, one of these ones. Yeah, okay, let's uh, back in there. Oh, I'm actually quite hungry. I had one big schnitzel yesterday. It was two pieces of schnitzel. Then I didn't eat for six hours. Okay, anyway, let me plug in first. You see, this is the beauty of Tesla. You get to a supercharger, you, you can... Wait, wait huh, what? I was about to brag about uh, supercharger and then maybe I didn't plug in properly. It says ready to charge. What? Okay, fail test, fail. Uh, well, this happens also sometimes. Uh, let me try to plug in again. Uh, sometimes the plug is, yeah, yeah is, I, I don't know why. Uh, maybe I didn't plug it in properly. So I think I didn't plug in properly. Yeah, now it starts to charge because I was I was about to say that um, that's the beauty of Tesla is that you have this map of superchargers and it's so easy to just pick one of them and you can see how many stalls are available. You want to go there, click and it just calculates so fast and it will tell you how many percent you have left and you plug it in and now we are charging. Okay, only 98 kilowatt because we are at 50%. But uh, let me see now. The consumption was 327 watt hour per kilometer, and we travel uh, 84, let's say uh, 83 kilometers divided by uh, point C. Uh, yeah, only 138 kilometers per hour average speed. That's, uh, <laughs> you see, we hammered hard, but still 138 only. So last night I was also able to cruise, well, actually, I was able to, in one stretch to go 150 average. But then I was hammering uh, hard, a um, uh, hard-ish around uh, 180 to 200 kilometers per hour. So, yeah, now you guys have seen it. And when it comes to battery temperature, it wasn't that hot. So, I don't know how scientific this test was. Uh, we could, of course, keep going, but uh, would the car overheat the Model Y? I don't think so because you you saw it. I didn't pay too much attention to this, but it was keeping it not too hot when I did my sprints. And then the problem in Germany is that uh, you will then suddenly have slowdowns, left lane huggers, Baustelle, and then suddenly the battery get time to cool down. So for the most part, overheating is not a problem with the Model Y. Okay, well, anyway, long video. I hope you guys enjoy this long video. <laughs> Maybe I should make some more. What do you guys think? It's been a long time since I made these kind of, I don't know what to call them. They are not really driving impression. It's like a hammer video. <laughs> I used to do that a lot back in the days and um, I can travel to Germany nowadays. We just use the COVID passport, get in here, and then I can do my high speed runs and test and whatever. Uh, so yeah, but okay, what do you guys think? Do you want to do? We want to see some more. Um, do it with a plan. Do it with the EQS, maybe. Well, then I have to ask for special permission for getting a press car from Norway to Germany. Normally, press cars they only allow them to drive within the Nordics, yeah, or Scandinavia. No wait. Now, okay. Anyway, okay. Let's. Um, what is the charging? Yeah, see, we are, we're down to eighty kilowatt. But normally, you wouldn't come here at fifty percent and plug in. It. It's just for the sake of the video, and then. Yeah, okay, anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.